What's going on guys? Welcome back. We're doing another drink tonight. It's been a few weeks and we thought we would bring you guys another one because now we're well into the fall season and with the falling leaves, the changing colors, uh, we thought we'd do something that's really colorful and very festive. So uh, tonight we're bringing you a new drink and what, what's this one called, Lisa? Um, we're gonna make a, a blood orange tequila cocktail with a little festive touch. Sounds great. Good for the holidays, I think, coming Absolutely. up or yeah. you wanna impress somebody. Yes. This one. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. We're gonna go through it now for you real quick so you know exactly how to make it. It's pretty easy, not too many ingredients. So we're gonna start out with uh, blood oranges, which are pre-juiced. We have a total of six ounces for two drinks, so that's three ounces per. Going into our shaker. Next up is lime juice, also fresh squeezed. That is um, one full ounce for two drinks. Mm. And here it goes. And we'll put the simple syrup in next, which is a half of an ounce for the two drinks, so a quarter ounce each. Yes, and I use the raw sugar, or raw organic sugar, so that's why it that's has why. a natural kind of color to it. Yeah, which um, I prefer, it's kind of cool. And last but not least is the booze. So we're using tonight uh, some tequila for this drink. And so... Blanco. Blanco tequila. But you can use whatever you prefer, honestly, I think. Yeah. Um, this is what we have picked up recently. That's good, we like it, we tried something new. So tequila is going to be two ounces per drink, so a total of four ounces. And uh, you know, if it go over, like we always say, it doesn't hurt anybody. Splash my. Just gets it done quicker. Yeah, it's fall. The leaves are coming down. The colors are absolutely gorgeous around here. Um, if you guys are in the north, maybe you've seen some of the colors, and uh, this kind of inspired us to do this colorful drink. Some ice in the shaker and some cubes in the glasses. And while I'm shaking, uh, Lisa's gonna put the fruit in the glasses for me, if you would, dear. Oh yeah. Okay, we're all set. And then we have an extra special garnish mm -hmm. that we have to go grab fresh from the kitchen. We have a rosemary plant and we are gonna make this extra festive by going ahead and taking our kitchen um, herbs and using them right in here. Perfect. So let's grab a little piece right here and you go ahead and clean that up real quick and then we're gonna put it right into our drinks. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just shove those bad boys in there, nice. And one last little thing to make it extra, right. extra festive. You know, gotta have a splash more. And for the holidays, always. What do we have there? Uh, right here we have some club soda water. You can just use your regular seltzer water, um, Pellegrino, whatever you'd like. So we're gonna put like just a little bit enough in here. That looks perfect. To make it Great. have a little bit of fizz. And I think that's about it. Yeah. What do you say? Cheers. This Cheers. looks amazing. Mm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. this might be my second favorite drink. This no. is definitely good. You guys gotta try this one. It's very yeah. simple to make and it's just absolutely delicious. Yeah. Cheers Great. you guys. Here's to you. Cheers, huh? It's just so aromatic and fresh. I love it, crisp 
and I just love the little sprig of rosemary. It makes it seem really holiday festive.